greenhouse gases have infiltrated the atmosphere, and we've been doing that over the last 100 years. Not intentionally, but at the end of the day, I'm very optimistic about solving the climate challenge because what I've seen over my 35 years here at the MTA is amazing change. And that all begins with the engineers and architects here at the MTA. I started here in 1987 as an assistant environmental engineer and I worked my way up to chief environmental engineer. So I've always been in the environmental compliance section. Now I was actually being proactive, collecting rainwater to prevent flooding, making sure we have recycled materials, making sure our construction and demolition debris is recycled as opposed to just landfilled. My signature project here uh, in the MTA was the Mother Clara Hale Bus Depot. The building includes a green roof, which is a vegetated roof which absorbs rainwater absorbs carbon dioxide, adds an extra layer of insulation to the roof, and also uh, absorbs floating particles in the atmosphere. There's also a rooftop rainwater collection system which drains into a 50,000 gallon tank, and we use that rainwater to wash the buses. But we also use the wash water and we recycle it. We filter it and then we keep using it again and again. The building is gold certified from the United States Green Building Council, and people still come to the depot to tour it now more than eight years after its completion. As a college professor now, after 25 years in the business, you realize that what you know, you have to pass on. So I think when I came to MTA in 1987, you know, there were a lot of people that were with lots of experience, and I realized that I needed to learn from them. We have done a great job here at MTA making our system more sustainable. Mentoring was a big deal when I first started here at MTA, and I think it's something MTA does a great job at. Because in order for us to be successful, we have to have a process where people learn from each other. 